So the question was asked, how long can you wait after mixing part A and part B1 before mixing B2? And does that affect the efficacy of Dahlgren? We would never recommend that you mix part A and B1 and store it because at that point it is a caustic liquid. It has a pH of 14 and it can degrade equipment components. But it is a good question, so we're gonna find out. And the way we're gonna do this is we have a basic blue dye. This dye gets oxidized at a fairly predictable rate by Dahlgren. Over here by Mike, we have a uh, part A and B1 that was mixed about five hours ago and has just been let sit open on the table in a plastic container. Over here, I have just the part A. I haven't added B1 at all to it. And now what we're gonna do is we'll just finish mixing the Dahlgren. Um, after we finish mixing the Dahlgren, we're gonna apply about a one-to-one -one ratio to the two, uh, two milliliters of the blue dye solution and we'll watch the color change. The Dahlgren will oxidize the blue dye to an orange color. And if there's any difference, we'll be able to see the difference in the rate of oxidation uh, between the two test tubes. So we can go ahead. Yep. So again, this is the fresh Dahlgren. What I'm gonna do is add the B1 and stir until it's completely dissolved. All right, now we've got the B1 mostly dissolved and we will both add the B2 at the same time. And these are both, uh, both batches of Dahlgren that um, they're actually from old stock that's over a year old. Uh, they've been sitting on a shelf for over a year, uh, but they are from the same lot number and the same production run. All right, and so what we're gonna do is uh, once this reaction settles out a little bit more, we'll take two milliliters of Dahlgren from each batch. We'll pour a measure amount in a graduated cylinder and we'll both pour it in at the same time. Uh, the left will be the new fresh made Dahlgren where everything was mixed all at once. And then the right will be the Dahlgren where we mixed A, B1, waited uh, a little over five hours now and then added the B2. Uh, the one here on the far right, that's just undisturbed. That'll be our control solution. And uh, that'll allow you to see the difference in the color change. So, let's pull it out. Let's get two milliliters. All right, so we got two milliliters in both. All right, so as you can see, uh, if anything, the reaction of the Dahlgren where uh, the B1 and A mixed and sat went a, went a slightly bit faster than the fresh mixed Dahlgren. Um, that's probably as a result of the lye, the B1 mixing better, having more time to mix and making a better solution. So we get more parasitic acid out of it. Again, you see they both uh, oxidize within five minutes. Uh, this will go you know, from blue to green to orange. Uh, orange is about as far as you're gonna get it to oxidize with this particular dye. And um, even though, again, we wouldn't recommend 
pre-mixing because you will then be carrying around a very caustic lye solution. Uh, it doesn't have any noticeable effect on the efficacy of Dahlgren.